necklaces are just the beginning of the jewellery treasures we've found. From Sri Lankan gemstones to Ghanaian gold, there's a world of adornment out there. Ratnapura has the largest gem market in Sri Lanka. People have been mining for gems in Sri Lanka for over 1,500 years. Megan gets close to some gorgeous rocks. This is the actual town called Ratnapura, which incidentally means city of gems. Many Sri Lankan names actually have meanings. But this is the place where the miners come to sell their gems to the dealers. Pretty hardcore business. Whoa! Geologists estimate that 90% of Sri Lanka's land bears gems. It produces the largest varieties of gems in the world, such as sapphires, rubies, cat's eyes, star stones and topaz. The largest sapphire in the world was found in Sri Lanka, weighing in at a hefty 42 pounds. It is possible to find rubies here, but the most abundant gems are pink and blue sapphires. A blue sapphire the size of your fingernail would cost about 30,000 rupees, which is about $500. Tahiti and the surrounding French Polynesian islands produce a much coveted jewel, the famous South Sea Black Pearl. To the Hindu, the Black Pearl means happiness. To the Arabs, it means wealth. To the Chinese, it means healing. To the Egyptians, it means love. But out here in Tahiti, it means one thing, billion dollar bucks. Woo Six thousand oyster shells are worked on every day on these farms and a total of six million black pearls are produced in Tuamotos each year. Oyster shells are artificially inseminated and kept on lines underwater for two years. So we open, open one up. Yeah, I'll be here. <sighs> oh, wow, look at the size of that one. Whoa, look at that. Wow, that is fantastic. Look at that, that is perfect round. It's like a marble. That's a black pearl, yeah? Black pearl, yes. Look at that. Oh, look at all these. These just came off the boat this morning. It's all about shape, colour and form. That's worth about $500. But check this little beauty out. Oh, this is worth $5,000. Can you believe that? <coughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's on the floor somewhere. Can, yeah, we'll find it. I, just, I think I just dropped it or something. It's probably here somewhere, yeah? The West African country of Ghana, once known as the Gold Coast, is one of the top ten producers of gold in the world. Most of it is mined by the Ashanti tribe, who first discovered it there. I'm going to the goldsmith, who makes all of the trinkets for the Asantehini, who is the king of the Asante people. For them, gold is a huge part of their ritual tradition, and it symbolizes both how wealthy and how powerful they are. So that is what I call a blowtorch. What will this be? Yeah, it's gold. This is gold, yeah. yeah. And what will you shape it into? I want to make fertility doll. A fertility doll? Yes. Yeah. That's a lot of work. Yeah. But that's probably why you get to make the king's yeah. jewelry. Yeah. Yeah? How did you get that position? It's a gift from God. It's a gift from God. That's how you do it. Yeah. From ancient times. What are these? This is ring. This is a ring? Yeah, it's lion. Ah, lion that's ring. my star sign. That means the family is wild. Wild strong. and strong. Yeah. Okay. 
So how much is this fertility doll? About 50000 $60, which is too much for me. It's too much. But it's so beautiful. Yeah. Do you have anything else? Okay, I have the silver one. The same thing in silver? Yeah, How that much is, 50, is that? 50000 50 Yeah. $20. Yeah. I can handle that. Yeah? Yeah. So this will bless me and I'll have lots of children someday. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. That Thank you, good. yeah. Nice. Thank you. Riga, capital of the Baltic state of Latvia, is a great place to find amber, which is really ancient fossilised tree resin. Most amber is found along the Baltic coast and finds its way to the markets here, as Neil Gibson finds out. Riga is commonly known as the Paris of Eastern Europe and is a mixture of Russian, German and Latvian influences. One of its highlights is the Riga Central Market, which takes place around several World War I Zeppelin hangars. This is one of the best souvenirs you can get here, amber. It's washed up along the Baltic coastline and the locals go up, collect it, polish it up and put it on a stall like this to sell to tourists like me. But you get a good price for it. How much for this chunk? Uh, this three lats. Three lats. Okay. And what about the um, this chunk here, the, the badge? This, uh, brooch. Brooch. This five lats. Five lats? Five lats, yeah. Okay, five lads. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Ten lads. Ten lads. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> There's no plastic, it's amber. Mexico's rich cultural mix offers up a wide range of beautiful handicrafts and some of the best silversmiths in the world, as Justine discovers. Every town in Mexico has its Zocalo, where people gather, socialize, where they celebrate national holidays, fiestas. And this weekend, I'm lucky enough to be here for the annual Silver Fair, shopping. Tosco's Saturday Market is the best place to find great deals. <laughs> this is just a silver paradise. There's everything here. Earrings, necklaces, bracelets, baby rattles, barrettes, little silver boxes, funky things, conservative things, ethnic-y things, ravings, religious things, tacky things, things with stones, things with written things on them. If you want silver, we come to Tesco. Okay, I think I found the place. I, I want earrings. I did this. E earrings, yes. Mm -hmm. And I can't find them anywhere. Okay. And I have a drawing of, of what I want, and they said that you can make this. It's just it's simple. It's just a heart with. Con alas. Alas, sí. wings, yes. Okay. It's, is it true, verdad? You can make. Sí. Usted puede hacerla. Claro. How much is it? Cost? 15 dollars. Te van a costar. 15 dollars. Sí. To make. Earrings? Sí, what's the size? To make the, these earrings, it only costs $15. Custom design. Sí. Increíble. Perfecto, <laughs> sí, I would like okay. that. What they're doing here is a lost wax method. First you make the model in wax. Then make plaster for the mold. Melt silver, pour the silver into the mold, bake it, finish it carefully, and in the end, it's beautiful. They're perfect, and they're so light, so delicate. Qué bueno. Sí. Que le gustara. Sí. Well, they're much prettier in silver than they are on paper. <laughs> they're so beautiful, so delicate, very light. Qué bueno que te gustara. Sí, me gusta sí. mucho. They're great. Okay. Gracias, ¿ah? ¿eh? No hay Gracias. problema. Gracias. 